Welcome back to another segment of Anderson Training Systems One Step at a Time Fitness Success Program. In today's segment, we're actually going to talk about the resistance training component. I'm standing here in front of a large rack of kettlebells because they're a real primary aspect that I use in my coaching, but they're not necessarily the primary key of what we're talking about today. And what we're talking about today is resistance component. And with the resistance component and the coaching that we do at Anderson Training Systems is that we actually teach movements, not muscles. Many of you are probably familiar with bodybuilding magazines, even men's health to some degree, have always espoused and, and through, the, through the years espoused that we're going to do training splits, we're going to do body part splits, we're going to do chest and biceps, we're going to do back and triceps, and then maybe we'll do some legs. Most of you guys out there aren't even touching the legs, by the way. Um, I've, I've heard lots of stories about guys thinking the treadmill walking is going to be enough to work their legs and they're flat out wrong. Um, what, what the component here, all, all the great coaches and all the coaches that I know that are working with high quality athletes or general population up to 60, 65, 70 year old people, they're training movements, not, not muscles. And the reason is, is that we want to basically make everything that we coach based around how the body moves, about increasing mobility, about things that are really going to make a difference. That one makes a big difference as far as the amount of work done. We can accumulate and spread the work across the entire body without having to completely wear out one muscle group. Very desirable for those of you that are looking for fat loss. For those of you that are looking to really improve quality of life, another great way, because we're going to address your ability to move and move efficiently. Doing the simple things like moving from the floor to the standing and vice versa are things that we all should really be able to and really aspire towards as we age. How do we do this? Well, it's quite simple. Well, we, the way we do this is we teach movements that are going to allow you to do this. We teach things like squats, and we teach deadlifts, and we teach pressing, and we teach rowing type movements. These type of movements lend themselves for you to be able to perform these daily activities, and then also demand, put such a place of high demand on the body that it actually increases the fat burning component. How do we do it? We're basically looking at, real simply, three sessions per week, total body movements, and then alongside of that, we talk about our interval training and stuff like that and some of our other things. That's really how it goes. Some of you, and I have had many, and some of you may be thinking, many people come to tell me, well, gee, I can't lunge or I can't squat. And the plain and simple fact of the matter is, is that you haven't been taught how to do it. Um, that's the guts of it. Um, and in some of our other training programs and some stuff that we have, the programs we have, we actually teach you how to perform that properly. We're not going to address that component right here in this. But just know the fact that nine times out of ten, when people walk into my facility, they don't know how to lunge, they don't know how to squat, they don't know how to row, they don't know how to do really anything. They may have done it, and they may have actually made the, made the weight of resistance move, but they don't know how to do it correctly, and that's the key point. So what we're looking at, and just the key thing to remember when you're, when you're looking at resistance training programs is we're looking at movements, not muscles. We want to get the most bang for our buck. We want to get muscle movements that demand as much from our musculature as absolutely possible in order to get, for most of you that are out there looking for really big, big goals and big achievement in the fat loss category, but, but also for those of you that are looking for quality of life and continued quality of life as you age. Um, you want to be able to do the things that you, continue to do the things that you're doing now when you're 30, 40, 50, on into years when you're 60, 70, and 80 as well. Um, that's what really quality of life is all about. So this has been another segment of Anderson Training Systems, One Step at a Time for the Success Program. Enjoy.